the calendar module will allow you to create a calendar on your website that lists any upcoming events that your funeral home is either hosting or promoting. If you have a blank page, which is what this is now, and you would like to create a calendar page, you would simply go to Edit Page Details and Edit Details and select the calendar module. That has been done to this page right now, so we'll go directly to Edit Content. The calendar control panel will open. Right now, there's nothing in the database. You have a few features here at listed at the bottom. The header and footer, of course, would be listed above and below your calendar on the page. You can edit your settings and test the page. Click on Edit Settings. With the calendar settings, you have the option to show all events, show all future events, show this month's events, or list it by a particular month. It's common to show this month's event, so there's only one calendar per page. You also have the full calendar style and a full calendar without weekends. If you have a calendar elsewhere on your website, this will give you the option to inherit those events. At this point, there are no other calendars, so that option does not exist. Once you've made the changes, click on Save. This will take you back to the calendar control panel where you can then add an event. The first section that appears is the event information pop-up. So when the calendar is on your website, somebody can click on the link, a pop-up will appear with more information. Again, this is a WYSIWYG editor. To access more of the icons, click on Advanced. You can add a photo if that's something that you would like to do. You can also create a link. Scroll down after you've added the pop-up information, and this is where you name the event and define the date and time. You can add a short description. If you have an event that runs a few days, then you can adjust this setting here. If the event is only one day, leave this field the same as your start date. Add your start time by using the drop-down menu. For the display method, just click on the drop-down to see all the options. You can have start time only, start time once, start end each day, start ends once. And if this is a recurring event, as I wrote here, meets weekly on Thursday, you can say meets every seven days, as an example, and is limited to however many times, 10 times. So this particular event will be in the calendar every week for 10 weeks. Once you've made all the changes you need, then click on Save. This will take you back to the control panel, and to see how the calendar displays, click on Close or test the page. The calendar module picks up colors from the design. You will just need to speak with your success coach if something like this happens. You will see the month listed at the top, and the numbers of the month are listed there, but they're obviously written in white, which against a white background, they're not visible. But you will see that we've added this one particular event. It's being listed every week. When you click on it, the pop-up will appear. The meeting is scheduled for three hours. It shows a little bit of information at the top, and online visitors can simply close.